Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So, we're going to talk about a very interesting subject that is going to change a lot of things. In 7.2, there are tons of changes, but one of the bigger changes, in my opinion, is the artifact power system. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be switching it up. They're going to be switching up the amount of artifact power uh, research. They're going to be artifact power um, traits, like they're way bigger gaps. There's a lot of things they're doing. But let's let's talk about what they're doing, and then I'll discuss what I feel about it. So, in 7.2, we're going to be gaining more research. So the percent is going to go up on the artifact power we're able to gain. Also, the traits are going to be way more spread out. So let's say, um, I don't even remember what it was. To get my level 54, I think it was like 4 mil or something like that. Well, if I was, let's say we were in the system that 7.2 would be in. From level 53, let's say if it was 4 mil to get a new trait. After you leveled, then it would be like 8 mil to get another trait. And then like 16 mil to get another trait and, then, and so on, right? Now, obviously, artifact research is going to counteract that, but... You can see how giant of these uh, these gaps are going to be. So, what do I think about it? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And not because of, you know, you we're not going to be able to get trades fast or whatever. But because World of Warcraft is turning so casual, it, just, it frustrates me. And I'm not a super, like hardcore mythic player right i am a heroic raider that's the spot that i like to be in i like to get on and i like to put in my time i like to uh, uh max out what i need to max out so i'm not casual and i'm not hardcore i'm like right in the middle so the people that are hardcore obviously i feel they should have way more dps way more gear everything than me that's not the case and that might sound kind of weird, right? I'm not a Mythic Raider, but I have gear that's probably equivalent to some Mythic Raiders. That shouldn't happen. It is so RNG right now in World of Warcraft that it doesn't make sense. So, the Artifact Power System is a guaranteed upgrade. A guarantee, hey, I'm putting in way more time than you. I should be doing more DPS than you. I think that's reasonable. I think that's completely okay. I don't agree with players who think they should be doing the same DPS as someone else when their level, their weapon is only like level 30 or even level 35. Level 54 is not hard to get on your character. If you've been playing since the beginning, you should be very close to level 54 if you're putting in your time and you're running your uh, your mythics, you're running your... If you're running things, you should be close to level 54. It just, it is what it is. If you're not, you haven't put in the time. You know, there's no arguing that. So, the fact that if someone puts in four times the amount of effort into something, you, sh you would think it would be way higher, right? Well, in 7.2, it's only going to be a maximum of 3% difference for someone who's putting in four times the amount of someone else. Don't agree with it. Um, <laughs> my opinion doesn't mean anything, but I don't agree with it. When you're looking at some of these uh, in-game guilds, you know, uh, these, you know, Method, for example, let's say Method, those Demon Hunters put in so much time, so much effort, it's it's crazy to think. So, there's actually, um, you could actually look up how many, like, Mythic uh, dungeons you've ran, and how many Mythic Pluses you've done, and how many raids, and how many bosses you've killed. You can look at all that stuff. And, I think I'm about... Two to three hundred mythic pluses done somewhere around there 
And you might have thought you've done that many, but when you look at it, you know, it's like, oh, I've only done like 50, right? Because there are players out there that are like, man, I've been grinding Mythics all day and I haven't got any loot. And and then you look at their logs and it's like, well, you've actually only done like 20 Mythic Pluses total, <laughs> you know? And it, it just, it is what it is. Now, have you ever looked at like method players or you know in any of those top end guilds i'm just using method as an example because a lot of people know that guild their players have put in you know like two to four thousand mythic plus runs yeah that's a big difference that is a huge difference now are you telling me they're only going to be a, a, a certain amount better than my character why if you put in the time you should get the benefit that's just my opinion so i don't agree with this new uh, artifact power system um it just it it's great for casual players but i don't know i just i i've played this game for a very very long time and obviously, you know, the name of the game is to make a profit off of World of Warcraft. And when you see someone that's doing, like, way more DPS than you, and maybe you have the same gear, it's just they put in more time and they have uh, a better weapon than you. I guess it could be discouraging, I guess. But usually those casual players are the ones who aren't raiding and are going to quit your game before the uh, the players that are actually, you know contributing and playing the game this could be argued on the other sense too and i i would definitely not want to not talk about this you look at those guilds like method right those guys are putting in an incredible amount of time leveling up their weapons as fast as possible to get any edge on the race some guilds are quitting. Some guilds are like, oh man, it's too much of a grind. It's too much of a grind. You know, it's not the artifact power grind that is just super grindy. It's all these split runs. It's everything that they've been doing plus artifact power. That's on them. If you feel you're doing too much, you could definitely go to a, a lower end guild if you're not racing for world first like these guys do ridiculous stuff and they will always do ridiculous stuff to try to be number one right they will always find strats they will always do things they will always they will find a way and they will put in the same amount of time regardless if it's artifact power grinding or grinding for a piece of gear or grinding for a titan forge Grinding for that Titan Forge socket, whatever it is, they're going to put in that time regardless. So, be, artifact power grinding, is that's the reason these top-end guilds are quitting? No, top-end guilds always quit. They always do. You know why? Because there's no point. What's the point of doing it? There really isn't. It's kind of weird, but it kind of isn't. All right, guys. That's enough of me rambling and talking about this uh, this subject what do you guys think? Do you guys think artifact power grinding is good? Do you think it's bad? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Whatever. Just leave a comment. Let me know all your opinions on artifact power because I know everybody has a different one. All right, guys. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. Do what you need to do, and I'll talk to you guys soon.